incubation. Nehemiah chapter 2 verses 11 to 13. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days. Then I rose in the night, I and a few men with me. I told no one what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Nor was there any animal with me except the one on which I rode. And I went, up, went about by night to the valley gate, uh, to the serpent well, and to the refuse gate, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem which were broken down, and its gates which were burned with fire. As we consider how Nehemiah went about fulfilling what was stirring inside his heart, we learn an important lesson about incubation. We can just arrive at an estimate that Nehemiah had been carrying this inside his heart, this desire to see the walls of Jerusalem rebuilt for several months. And so here, after having obtained permission from the Persian king to head back to Jerusalem, he makes that journey. Uh, the estimate is about a thousand miles that uh, he had to travel. Sushan in Babylon was about a thousand miles by road from Jerusalem, uh, or about a thousand five hundred kilometers. And it would have taken him several days to make this journey to Jerusalem. And here, once he reached, arrived at Jerusalem, Nehemiah says that he never spoke about what was in his heart with anybody. You know, there's an important lesson that we must learn here about incubation, which means when God has put something in your heart, we must carry it inside us for a period of time. You're not necessarily announcing it to the world. You're not telling every person who comes across your path about what is stirring inside you, but the burden or the, the passion or the thing that is inside you. You learn to incubate. You learn to carry the vision within you. During this time, you're listening to what God has to speak to you or say to you about that. You are surveying, you're pondering, you're reflecting over matters, and you're drawing on divine wisdom for this assignment that God has for you. So this is a very important lesson for us to learn uh, from Nehemiah's life. Uh, even when Nehemiah was surveying the walls, he went very discreetly. He went out at night uh, to survey the walls because he didn't want anybody to, uh, to even uh, suspect, to get an idea uh, of, of his assignment, of why he was there and what he was about to do. You see, there are times or there's a period of time when we need to be discreet, when we need to incubate the vision uh, or the stirring within our hearts until it, it becomes solidified or it becomes crystal clear within us, until it's strong within us and we've heard from God and uh, it has been clarified within us that this is what we are going to do. And there's a commitment that takes place inside you uh, that cannot shake you. That incubation, incubation period is so important. So I want to encourage you, whatever dream God's put in your heart, whatever vision that is stirring inside you, Take some time to incubate. Take some time for that vision to crystallize, if you will, inside you, because that is very important in this whole process. Let's pray together. Father, we just pray and ask in the name of Jesus that you will give us the wisdom, Lord, to know how to incubate what you put in our hearts, to know how to carry it inside of us until it grows within us, until it uh, builds within us until it becomes mature within us and we are ready to release it into this world. Help us, Lord, to walk with patience, wisdom, and discretion through this process. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.